Let's talk about the Leak Track versus the V2. I'm not looking to rip apart a product. I'm not looking to knock or degrade anything. I'm just looking to show facts. Um, this is a kit that came in used. And by the way, when people send our equipment back for repair or if there ever is an issue, it's not wrapped up this neatly like I'm gonna show you right now. This happens to be a new kit. So that's what I wanna say is we're not comparing apples to apples. We're comparing a kit. This is a typical vinyl liner leak track from Anderson and this is your typical V2. So again, remember, this is new. This is an old one. And when they sent it back, you know, sometimes our stuff comes back this way, so let's be fair, and again, this is going to be fair, but why a lot of these wires are doing this is because this is not good wire. This is not good waterproof wire. This is almost like a lamp cord, a twisted cable lamp cord, or almost like a speaker wire, if you must, and that's why we're having these issues. But let's get into it, and let's first start with our comparison as far as what we use to induce the actual electricity into the pool. Now, we used to use a float, and now we typically use, not typically, we only use a transducer. Real nice and clean, weighted, doesn't have to be centered in the middle of the pool. You could hang this anywhere over the side of the pool, put it about 12 to 18 inches underwater, and that's gonna send in all the current and your square voltage into the pool. On the leak track, they use this actual float that's actually wired all the way back to the unit and this has to get thrown in the center of the pool and then we have a weight that so again what this does is it gets tangled up it gets in the way of your probe when you're scanning it with your floor probe or with your wall probe it's not easy to use and therefore it makes it more difficult another thing about this is is because it's completely copper yeah that does give a good signal and copper is a good conductor but you also have to clean this all the time we're running stainless steel out of our actual transducer and every once in a while you wipe it down with a rag or anything but you don't have to get into any kind of sanding whatsoever the next thing we're going to talk about is your probe now with the with the leak track you're only getting one probe again with this flimsy kind of wire that's on it that doesn't wrap up well it's just again not that great with our unit you're going to get the floor probe and the actual wall probe and let me show you that real quick so again you're getting two probes when you're working with this kind of equipment we have a floor probe so that you're not picking up false positives now you can pick up false positives with both sets of equipment there's nothing better than one as far as getting false positives and false positives are actual grounds that are in the pool so if it's a light niche if it's a rail if it's step screws if it's leak skimmer screws or main drain screws those will show as a leak now why we created we call this our rake or our floor probe is so that you could always be aiming down and you're not gonna be aiming up at a light or at somewhere else. It's hard to use this on a pool pole aiming down without having to point this at another possible ground which will show up as a false positive. Now we give you this just for the walls and we give you this just for the floor. Look how nice the cable is. Remember, it's new so it's wrapped up nice, but when you feel the quality of this cable, it lasts forever. You're not gonna get any of this twisting, any of this binding up, which makes it easy to wrap up and store for your next job. Let's talk about the grounding cable now. First of all, they don't give you a ground rod. They give you basically, I don't know if they give you a screwdriver and it's missing out of here or they're telling you to just take a screwdriver, stick it in the ground and clip this clip to it. We give you an actual brass grounding rod. So this will literally, you could wet the ground, push this into the ground, tap it in with a hammer if you want. It doesn't have to go all the way in, just has a pretty good contact. And we give you a nice clean cable with a clean kip and this will literally plug right into the transformer, or to the transmitter actually. Um, and again, this is giving you that good solid ground that you need. Uh, using a rusty screwdriver, or using a, a screwdriver as an actual ground is just a bad way of actually doing it. But now, let's get into the meat and potatoes of all of this, and let's talk about Again, what really separates these two. So not only the probes, not only the ground, the float compared to the transducer, you can't beat this transducer. 
The main components are our rechargeable transmitter and our rechargeable receiver. These are the biggest differences that you could possibly imagine. And let me show you why. Uh, one of the things on their transmitter is, is again, you have an on and off switch. It's very basic, but here's the big thing that you need to know about. And this is gonna get sped up. The number one complaint that we hear about the leak track are the amount of batteries that are actually getting used in the unit. So when you take a look, you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's all sorts of issues with corrosion on these batteries because it's not the greatest of waterproof. There's no gasket on here to seal it off. And again, you just have to go through a lot of batteries to use this unit. In comparison, when you're looking at the transmitter of the V2, it's fully rechargeable. This unit is watertight. You never have to open it back up. You never have to get back in there. It comes with a charging cord, charging cable. You could charge it from your truck and you could typically get four to eight swimming pool leak detections done out of this unit. Again, you can get a whole day's worth of leaks done on this unit and then it actually has a rechargeable batter battery on the actual receiver itself. So again, plug it in, it has a low battery indicator, tells you everything that you need to know. But the number one thing that you also need to know is about the potentiometer, which will actually control the amount of voltage that's going into the pool. We're sending it in as square voltage and you wanna be able to dial that in precisely, not just a click, not just an up arrow, you literally can precisely dial in the amount. So if you have a leak that's completely opposite from the other side of the pool, you could send in very low voltage into the pool and you could precisely get over those leaks with either the floor probe or the wall probe without picking up those other false positives. So we're able to actually dial that down. Let's talk about one of the biggest factors when it comes to uh, this equipment, this vinyl liner equipment. There's a five year bulletproof warranty with any electronics product you buy, including the V2. Meaning if your guys drop this in a pool, if you go to our warranty section, you send it back to us, we're gonna fix it with no questions asked for a period of five years. When you do that with the leak track, you're only getting a one year warranty. So there's a big difference. Another big difference is, is we build it here. We believe in not leaving you stranded. We know that you need this equipment daily. So if you have a warranty issue, the day that we get it back is the day that it gets fixed and sent back to you that same exact day. So in summing this all up, your success is our success. If you guys are out there making money, doing what you gotta do, you have the right tools, there's nothing we won't do to back you up and help you out. Again, I hope this video explained everything that you need to know about the two differences of just this specific pieces of equipment.